Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, March 9th to the 10th, Intuitive Love Tarot. Re, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. If not, and you're interested in a personal reading, uh, so that way it's more specific to you, the information is in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right below. I do appreciate it. Hit that notification bell as well. Oh, wait a minute. There's one that flipped over. Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Hair of Fonts. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. Okay, I'm going to get a message from Spirit here. Ooh, five cards. Okay, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Four of Wands. The Tower at the bottom of the deck, Libra. Know that energy and time are fluid, so switch up the roles if you need to, and know that this can be past, present, or future. Okay, let's see what they get to say. Okay, James is here. Um, for those of you who don't know, James is a guide of mine. He doesn't always show up in readings, although he's been showing up a lot more lately. He usually comes in with a song, and the song he's singing is Let My People Go. James was a slave to the Native Americans back in the Trail of Tears. So... And that's a message for you, let my people go, and I'm not sure. Can you elaborate, please? Okay. This is in relation to freedom. It came up with another sign. If there's somebody in your life right now, Libra, that you need to let go of, they're saying, let go. It's almost like, what's that saying? If you, if you let something go and it comes back to you, you know, that it was meant for you. If not, it was never meant for you. It wasn't yours in the first place, right? So they're saying, he's saying, let go. Anything else? Okay. Now they're singing, and they keep, this is like the third time that they've given me this song. I can't remember what sign it was for, and I still have it. If they continue to give it to me, it's because... The message has not been received, but it's go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born, right? I have no idea um, what they mean by that. If it, if it means anything to you. And I looked up the lyrics too. I don't know. They're going to keep giving it to me. Or, yeah. Maybe it's that you guys have not received the message, haven't figured it out yet. Somebody out there. You don't even, okay, they're saying you don't even have to be a Libra. If you're watching this video and like it's your sun, moon, rising, or you're with a Libra, you're watching for a Libra, you're a cross watcher. Um, it's for anybody who's watching this video. Hmm. You gotta love the puzzles they give ya. I do. I appreciate them. Okay. So what do we got going on here? We've got the Queen and King of Pentacles, man. Nice power couple there. Very grounded. Um, for some of you, wow. You could be getting married. 
we have the King and Queen of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, which is marriage, and we have the Four of Wands, which is marriage. Eight of Pentacles, working on a relationship. The King and Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Very grounded, very stable. Um, concerned with the material aspects of reality knows they both know how to build a business i mean working together shit right this is commitment marriage this is taurus it could be a taurus you're with doesn't have to be because it is marriage it could also be a spiritual connection the hierophant is the high priest to the high priestess so I'm feeling that this King and Queen of Pentacles, you're working very hard. It could be on a business. You may already be married, but it, it, it was probably recent. So let me clarify. Clarify this Four of Wands. What is this about? It's also a twin flame card. It could be a twin, but I am feeling marriage. Okay. Clarify the Four of Wands, please. Hmm. Strength. That's the card of Leo. That's bravery. That's overcoming. It may have taken you a while to get to this position. Page of Wands. Looking forward to it. Hmm. Clarify this. Why the strength, though? That's why is the strength card there? Okay, there could have been a third party situation that was preventing you guys from getting married or staying together. That's the lover's card. So you may have needed, it could have been a particular person too that was trying to come between you. Okay, so what was the result of this? Hmm. Let me see the result of this. This is like a soap opera, man. Ooh. Five of Swords. That's anger, jealousy. This is pettiness. Did you get married? I'm feeling marriage. Ooh. Six of Swords. That's moving on. That's journey. That's... You could have moved... Clarify the Six of Swords. Where did you go? Queen of Swords. You may have pieced out for a minute to go to go away, like together, to look at things in a more balanced way um, from an intellectual standpoint with the Queen of Swords here. But I'm feeling... I don't know, you went through some shit because you came from tumultuous waters and fighting and pettiness, right? The Five of Swords energy, I don't like that. Expect the unexpected, by the way. You've got two fives here. Okay, clarify the King of Pentacles. Who is the... No, no, clarify the Hierophant. I want to know about the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant, please, for Libra. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is your emotional fulfillment. Clarify the King of Pentacles. This is happiness. This is a happy family. The Sun. Yeah, this is a soul. If it's not a twin, it's a soulmate from a past life. This is being vulnerable. This is the happiest card in the deck, the Sun card. Next to the Ten of Cups. It's like, damn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. If this didn't happen yet, it will. Queen of Pentacles, if you're resonating with it, you may be with this person. Page of Cups or uh, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign. You could be apologizing. Yeah, the Chariot. This person could be at a distance. This may not have happened yet, this marriage. But there was some shit, man. There was some shit and drama. There was drama for your mama here. That's for sure. So what are you apologizing for with the Page of Cups here? Two of Wands. Oh, maybe you chose somebody else. I don't know. Two of Wands is at a crossroads. 
clarify this again. What are you apologizing for? It could just be a love offer and not necessarily an apology. King of Wands. Ooh. Okay. This is passion. This is the fun guy. You're making a love offer. Could be apologizing for thinking with the wrong head. Possibly. For some of you. For some of you, it's just a love offer. Clarify the King of Wands again. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but it's a very sexual energy. It's a very, um, this person is very confident. Yeah, that's distance. That's waiting for your ships to come in. You could have been waiting for a while. You could have been waiting to do this. Clarify the Three of Wands. I can't stop with this story, Libra. I can't stop. Six of Pentacles, you could have been giving to two. This seems to be a popular theme among peeps. But it could just also be that you're trying to balance the scales out, Libra. You are, that is your card, right? You don't like imbalance. This is somebody from the past. Again, we have past life soulmate. A very sweet innocent love right okay so what is your advice for libra regarding this you will be happy whatever shit's going on i think it's irrelevant because in the end you got it going on and that's cool you've got happiness the happier you are the better vibration you hold hence the earth benefits, the people on the earth benefits from your happiness. So that's a reason to be happy. Queen of Wands. Ooh. Now we have a pair. This could be an emperor and an empress because we have the king and queen of wands and the king and queen of pentacles. Advice. Okay, they're advising you to balance. Make sure you're looking at this from a different perspective. This is also a waiting card. They may be asking you to wait. I'm not sure for what. <laughs> wait to move. Wait to go forward with the Ace of Wands and the World card to start a new cycle. They do want you to go forward. <sighs> this is waiting. Make sure you're looking at this from all perspectives. Whatever this situation is, there was a lot of drama that happened, I'm feeling. Everybody's story is going to be different. It does have a happy ending, though. It's got a very happy ending. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, though. Yeah, Knight of Cups, you're going to be making an offer soon. And you're going to want to work on this relationship. You will, because there's marriage here. There's happiness. There's abundance. There's just everything. Try not to be defensive, though, okay? Nine of Wands at the bottom. You block your blessings with these defenses, okay? There's, there's not enough space for them to come through, all right? All right, Libra, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.